Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. The greatest generation that ever lived earned that title for a reason. World War II is an unfathomable time for my generation, and even more so for the generations behind me. That's why learning about World War II is so high on my personal bucket list. So when we went to Terrell and found out a connection that we had with the Brits back in the day, well, that made it well worth a stop. Terrell, Texas feels like your typical town here in the Lone Star State. Its historic downtown is usually buzzing with business, but back in the early 1940s, it was a plethora of planes buzzing the sky that created commotion. To learn more about why this area was so active with airplanes, we headed where else but to the airport to visit the number one British Flying Training School Museum. I like history. I'm passionate because Terrell is my hometown, and I didn't learn about the school and the people here until I came after I retired from Southwest Airlines. That it f affected so many people that I knew. Rudy Bowling is the executive director at the museum, and he grew up in Terrell when the school was playing a vital role in World War II. This is a four-year period that was very important to Texas, the United States, and Great Britain. This small airport was constructed back in 1941 to train British cadets how to fly. It was built before the United States' involvement in the war through the Lend-Lease Act which allowed the U.S. to supply military aid to foreign allies while remaining neutral in the conflict. More than 2,200 Royal Air Force pilots earned their wings here. We were a microcosm of uh, two cultures coming together. The young men that came from 3,000 miles away to a place that they thought still had Indians and cowboys everywhere, uh, they were a little disappointed when they got to Terrell. But the cadets were not disappointed by the Texas hospitality. The locals took them under their wing. They knew they were far from home, so they tried to give them something to do on the weekends. They supported them. So there's a, there's a real connection between the culture of England and the culture of Terrell, Texas. Everybody we know, our grandparents were involved. They were helping train British soldiers go and fight. They were thousands of miles away from home and the people of this town opened their homes and their hearts and treated them like their own children. We taught them to fly and to defend their homeland and they needed that ally and we were there for it. Cadets trained in PT-17s and the AT-6, which is a plane appropriately named the Texan. For six months, they were taught by civilian instructors and some of the cadets that came through here included Robert Hardy who would later become an actor in movies like Harry Potter, and Thomas Round, who would end up being an opera star. Even a few Americans trained here, like Lieutenant Richard Hill, who had the unique distinction of earning two sets of wings. This is a uniform coat from a uh, American cadet here okay. at the school. Okay. Uh, his, his regular Army uh, Air Corps uniform. And if you'll notice, it has two sets of wings on it, the American set and the English. And the reason for that is that this school taught under the British syllabus. And if he learned under the British syllabus, they decided, the powers that be, that he could wear the British wings on his other pocket. And it was kind of a mark of honor for them to get to do that. When you look at the faces that came through here, you realize how young these brave men were. They were very young. They were very young. Look at the faces of the kids, literally kids, that were here. They're my grandchildren's age. My heart just clutches every time I think about my kids going off to do the things that these men did. When these pilots flew down Interstate 20, they had to put themselves in another place in order to get an idea of what it would be like flying over Europe. So the school made a map that represented the distances between the cities in the old world with towns here in Texas and close by. This is a representation of a training map that they used here at the school uh, during the war. Uh, and on it, Terrell represents London. Okay. So uh, it's kind of like their way to get the perspective of distances while yes. training here. Yes. And one of the examples I like to use is Terrell to Berlin, which is very close to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Jeez. And that gives people, uh, especially visitors, an opportunity to, to see the 
to make it relative. Yeah, you never realize the, how close Europe is together until you see it like this, where it's represented state by state, country to country, and that's amazing. Right. Yes. England to Germany, and the far side of Germany is just the other side of Arkansas. Yes. Paris mm -hmm. is in East Texas. That's unreal. Country of Ireland pretty much goes from Abilene to Southern Oklahoma. Yes. That really gives you perspective. And it gives you perspective because Germany was literally on their front door. Absolutely. How far is it between Dover and Dunkirk? Or? 15 miles. 15 miles. Unreal. Very, very close. That's amazing. And you'll notice that England fits nicely within the state of Texas with a little overlap, uh, overlap into Oklahoma. Yeah, and you're not start. You're starting in between Waco and Dallas. You're right. not starting so, way south. Yeah. Getting such a detailed look at this little known story of World War II is an inspiring tale of true courage. Many of the men who went on to fight in the war sacrificed their lives to preserve our way of life. And it all started right here in the Lone Star State. My respect for them knows no bounds. It's not just a story about uh, England and, and Texas or England and America. Uh, it's a story about people. They were being devastated in a faraway land. We made them feel at home. We made them comfortable. We, we brought them into our homes and celebrated holidays with them. And then we trained them to do the best to fight the war. We were their allies. They were felt empowered to go fight the war because they felt they had been trained well while they were here in Terrell, Texas. It's another level of pride in who we are as Texans to know that we participated in this. Thank you for what they did. The Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank. Texans helping Texans. Slovacek Sausage, you'll love our sausage. Lubies, tastes like Texas, feels like home. And Seaforce, natural artesian water by Chuck Norris.